super strong man na malaria the puta wise man in a poria when in every day like a wrestler body and soul of a hustler money she a pray on a regular she touch down feeling like a rasta when in every day like a wrestler now you back still in a shit world is never disappoint you know this got me feeling like a novice man i like can't come see she a killer girl she a killer girl <laughs> oh hi everybody welcome back to a special episode of the abs show and before we were dancing to team nani single killer girl yes. right. ahuda ahuda that was a Yazi. dope song such a great Thank song yes. we're so yes. proud of you Thank yes you. Thank we you are for all your and support. It's, it's doing so so well like on spotify itunes yeah. everywhere i was out the other night and dj cuppy was playing it you yes. should have seen people i saw yeah. an asian woman whining down yes. and she was like killer girl and yes, it's a celebration. We are celebrating 2017. We are going into 2018. Oh, it's like it's gonna be a fun fun show and you guys need to stay tuned in to us we have so much in store for you for 2018 yes you need to make sure you're following us everywhere you're subscribed on YouTube mm -hmm. Instagram everywhere it's at the ABS show yes. mm -hmm. or Mina TV Africa that's and, right and so then grab your wine just like us mm -hmm. and yes. enjoy cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. all right so today's topic is we are counting down top 10 African food our favorite food, yeah. mm. top 10, because it's the holidays, right? Yeah. And yeah. one of the most common thing during the holidays is you're going to go and eat. Everybody loves to eat. Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. you can tell. I it's, love to eat. Yes, <laughs> we, yeah. all tell, love to eat. we all love to eat here. And the holidays is the perfect time to mm -hmm. eat, eat, eat. It's yes. okay to eat, eat anything, put on weight. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mm -hmm. totally fine. So we have 10 from all over Africa as yes. well. Yes of our favorite yes. African food, all right? Mm -hmm. So while we're talking, you can also let us know what your favorite food is. Comment below. Make sure you add us on Instagram, The AVS Show. That's so you right. guys, are you guys ready? Yeah, mm -hmm. ready. All right, so let's start the countdown. The number one on my list. Are we counting down or are we counting up? Well, it's not really in any particular yeah. order. Okay. It's just our top 10 favorites. Okay. So this one is, is not necessarily. That's your favorite. So this is your favorite. Oh one my of gosh. your favorites. All right, so don't kill me. So number one favorite, is drum roll Gary? <laughs> nah, wow! All right, so don't kill me. Gary. Listen, yes, Gary, you heard it right. Okay. Yes, depending on where you're f coming from, you spell it differently. But where I'm, I'm coming from, G A R I, Gary. Oh. So yeah, so somebody will ask, why is Gary your favorite food? Yes. Because mm. to me, Gary is a universal food. Gary is like a lot of people from different countries eat Gary. Nigerians eat Gary. Mm -hmm. Ghana eat Gary. Senegal people eat Gary. All, all of West though. Africa. It's like, probably. I'm telling you, and yeah. yes, West Africa is probably, like, Gary is probably known in, within the West African um, countries. Didn't uh, an artist make a song and said, Nadia Buari, yeah. she know they eat Gary. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know why, and you know why she, um, she, um, he said that, that Nadia Buari doesn't that? eat Gary. Why? Because a lot of times, most people think that Gary is a poor people, a poor person's food. Never. And it's it, it actually not. So Gary um, is derived from cassava. Yeah. And uh, yeah, cassava. So mm -hmm. it's good. It's universal. You could you could soak it. Mm. How do you eat it? Okay, mm -hmm. so the way I eat it. So depending on um, you know, how my packet is looking like. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's true. If like I'm the... like really, really, really broke, all I do is I soak it in water, mm -hmm. let it sit, and just like magic, it's gonna rise up. <laughs> rise. Yes. You could you could eat it with milk, um, peanuts. Sugar, you can also put it in hot water, mm. you know. When I was so, younger, I would eat Gary with, um, with, with Gary, with, <laughs> with no, 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 don't worry. water, sugar, and ground nuts. It yes. was very, it's delicious. Okay, yes. so there are quite a few ways to eat Gary, right? Mm -hmm. Number one way in, in Ghana, I'll use the Ghana terms, mm -hmm. is um, soakings. Yes. So, so with soakings, you take the gari, you put it in water, you add milk, sugar, and peanut and peanuts. Mm -hmm. Some people will omit sugar, some people omit gari, but that's one popular, easy way of doing it. It's delicious too. Yes. Another way is you can eat it with soups or stew mm. by either cooking it on a stove and yeah. turning it into a boil, mm -hmm. or just yeah, yeah. doing Swallow. it the way that Charlie yeah. said. Mm -hmm. 
But um, the number one thing, I eat Gary, and I like having, I don't eat it a lot, but I like having it in my house, because when I'm busy, it's a very quick go-to food. Yes. Very filling. Yes. Yeah, I, I have that, actually, in my yeah, house. Yeah, you can have it done in, like, literally, in less than two minutes, you can have something to eat with a Gary. Gary. It's very cheap. You can find it in, like, a lot of African mm. Caribbean I stores. I disagree, because there are different types of Gary. Oh, yes. Like, There's in the Ghana, ones. the yes. best Gary comes from a place called Kwesi Minton, Kwesi Minton mm -hmm. which is on the western side of Ghana. It's by the coast, and they make the finest gari. Mm. Yeah, gari mm. is I only have the gari that's coarse. The yeah, creamy. that's the bad gari. I don't like that <laughs> gari. That's the Nigerian like... gari. <laughs> hey, don't bring Nigeria into this matter. But it is, there are different kinds of gari. If you, go, if you go to the African store, mm. you guys also have like a colorful one yeah. mm. as well. There's but yeah. even called and, and, bo bo gari. That one is very strong. And I believe like <laughs> almost... Strong. <laughs> I don't know about other West countries, but I know almost every country in West Africa eats Gary. Yeah, of course. Yes. Definitely. And you yeah. know the beautiful thing about Gary? What? Gary is so reliable, even more than your best friend. Because mm. <laughs> when you're broke, Gary is there for you. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. And I feel like Gary is also everlasting. You can have it in your cabinet for years and years and years. I don't know if this is true. He's an but everlasting. you're everlasting, Gary. So that's my pick. Yeah. Who do we, what do we have next? Uh, number two is yam porridge. Some people call it yam pottage. It's oh. yam. Okay. It's from cassava as well. But there's something beautiful about yam porridge. Have is you guys ever had yam, yam porridge? porridge? What's yam porridge? I don't yam know. Yam porridge that. is made um, with yam, mm -hmm. definitely. And you put a little bit of tomatoes and oil. There's a kind of oil we call oh. red oil. This is what yeah. we call in Ghana, Ghana eto, eto. 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 Is it eto? Oh, I think potom, this potom. is what we call eto what? in Ghana. Potom, potom. Yes, yeah, I've heard that name before. Potom, potom, yeah, potom, potom, potom. Potom. I think it's eto. Yeah. No, this is... Well, I'm fancy. Fancy, we call it eto. You eat it on your birthday with boiled egg. Okay, so which country eats this food? Nigeria. Okay. Especially, this is one of my favorite food. Because this is a go-to food. It's very easy. They make it with yam. They use palm oil. Mm. Yes. Yeah. That's what they use in making it. I don't really know how they do the whole thing. I just like the outcome. Because <laughs> when I, I see I've, it, it's a holiday. I'm sorry to mention this, but I think I, I've seen Bob Reeski make this. Oh, Jesus. On his oh. Snapchat. Oh, I'm sorry. Jesus. What is this? Really? And it, it was a mess. <laughs> oh, it was really? a whole Bob mess. Yeah. I've seen it. So I all people it. that want to I make food is Bob that I'll make for you. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> 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 no, but okay. So you you add, you can add shrimp to it. You can add shrimp. You can use fish, which is my favorite. Mm -hmm. You could even use meat. This one they use. They use you know, a little bit of chicken in it. Mm -hmm. You put stew in it. Jesus. All right. So then I have a question. Yeah. Is this breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Anyone. Listen, <laughs> Charlie. Charlie, you know in Africa. Dinner. It's That's definitely. why he's gay. No, you know because, because you said porridge. So yes. when, I, when I think about yeah. porridge, I think about. But Charlie, you know that you. in Africa we have. I eat fufu for breakfast. <laughs> I eat rice for <laughs> breakfast. Yeah, exactly. How can you, how can you continue I your day if you wake up eating fufu? Charlie, you're gonna be weak. Charlie, no. I wake up no, at six. You need energy. I wake up Weekend. at six a.m. with a bottle of champagne, Charlie. And fufu. <laughs> yes, no. Yeah. Charlie, most of these laborers. Yeah. Most, of this, yeah, most of these laborers, these people who do hard labor jobs, mm -hmm. they eat fufu. It's strong. Oh. Yeah, because how can you get tired after fufu? Are you serious? So when it comes to Africa, there's nothing like coffee. Is that what you guys are there's telling me? There's nothing like breakfast, breakfast you know. lunch, this or dinner. This is our breakfast yes. right here. All right, so that was a good pick. So what do we have for number three on the list? So number three on the list, it's not a Ghanaian dish, but I absolutely love pepper soup. Okay, oh so what my is, gosh. Uh, uh, Pepper oh. soup. Yes, pepper oh. soup. Okay. I love pepper soup. I would say that it's most po popular in Nigeria, Nigeria. Yeah. but it is absolutely, absolutely delicious. Um, other West African countries make it as well. Mm. People make it in different forms. Like in Ghana, we have something called light soup. Mm. It's it's not the same as pepper soup. It doesn't taste the soup taste the same. That's but pepper soup. But it's also a spicy yeah. soup. But yeah. I love pepper soup, especially with gold. Mm. That's my favorite. Pepper. You have to have it with goat meat. We call it Isiewu. Yes. And it's the head of the goat. Are you sure we don't call oh it a ponchikakra? What's that? Isn't a ponchikakra the same as light soup? Okay. Because, the, because pepper Nigerian not... pepper soup is like a light brown color. Mm. Sometimes it's greenish. A ponchikakra is like reddish. reddish. It's kind so of then more what, like... What kind of meat goes with this soup? Goat, with the pep goat meat. Goat okay. meat. Yeah, yeah, it looks just like that. With they the, they, sometimes they use the... Oh, fish too. The stomach of the, yeah, yeah, of the goat. Wall. Oh gosh, I forgot what it's called. Call it assorted. You use different kinds, different parts Listen, of the animal. Just you, put everything inside. If you have that made by the right Nigerian cook, <laughs> oh you. my God. All right, it not is Bob so All right, so I have another question. As we are getting into 2018, mm. I want to watch my figure. 
So do you guys know how many calories is in this food? It can't be too much. No, 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 no I don't know how much. many calories, <laughs> but <laughs> it is I would say that it is healthy yeah. because it's really it's really just veggies and onions and yeah. tomatoes. And when I have it's the goat yeah. that's like, you know, has calories. So you just have to watch how much goat you eat and then yeah. you also have to watch like not to eat like the fat so part. Can I emphasize on the healthy part of pepper yes, soup? Yes, it's very healthy. Ahead. If you have fever. Yes. <laughs> if you are cold. <laughs> <laughs> if you are sick. If your mom make better Niger pepper soup for you, <laughs> you will sweat better. it out. Yes. Oh. Everything, you it's get true. well. Listen, Don't go to the hospital. And even sometimes my nose is running while I'm eating it, but I just wipe it. <laughs> <laughs> wipe it, eat, wipe it, eat. You can't stop. It is really good. And it's, it's, it can also serve almost like as dessert. Like yeah. you could eat something else and then just drink oh, some pepper soup. Yeah. It's like or, you can, or you can use that as like an appetizer, like have it mm. before you eat other foods. <laughs> pepper soup is so good. And for me to like have this on my list, you guys have to know that it's good because Nigerian I food is not the best. I you know that? Wow. I didn't even have to say something like that. What no, I'm not with the Nigerian. Beef. No, no, no. It's not about a Nigerian Ghana beef. Like, if I had to pick, like, let's say if I had to choose Jesus. Guinea, Senegal, Ghana, and Nigeria, I would probably pick, like, Senegalese food as, like, the best food out of those four countries. Okay. You know, and then you I would, and then I would, Senegal as the best food. Then I would probably put Ghana second, and then Guinea third, and Nigeria last. Why, 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 so why, why are you putting Ghana second? Because I think I'm you're being drunk. Honest. Because no. you're drunk. Yeah. 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 She's, She's drunk. drunk. Yeah. No, 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 She's drunk. I'm She's drunk. drunk. That's drunk. I'm speaking well, the truth. She's drunk. That's I'm drunk. Drunk. So let's move on. Let's move oh. on to the number four on the list. So this for, I wanted to move to East Africa for my fourth choice. Um, I love Kifo. Have you guys ever had it? It's Ethiopian no. dish. No, no. So kifo is, is delicious. Ooh, like it is? it is beef. They usually eat it raw, but I don't eat it raw. I'm not Ethiopian enough. So what I do is <laughs> I ask them to cook it. They mix it with curry and this flavored butter, and I have it in with injera, and it is delicious. You had it really? with injera. Injera is like this flat bread they have. It's like spongy oh, okay. flat bread. Okay. If you none of you guys have Ethiopian food, no. y'all are missing out. Are you serious? Is there like a no, Ethiopian super, restaurant in New York um, that we can? Yeah. Probably, yeah, I think it's called Ethiopia. Okay. But no, for real, like Ethiopian food is really delicious. They eat like a lot of yams and, and beef and they usually eat it raw. So you ha when you go, you have to ask for it cooked. Like it actually comes raw and you have to like, nah, bruh. Like, Do you know how to make it or you? No, no, I'm not making that food. <laughs> <laughs> but I love eating it when my friends come with me. And the thing is, okay, so the thing I love about Ethiopian food is like they'll have this. And they'll um, have in jar, so the they'll, so the whole dish is covered with this flat, spongy bread, mm. and then you eat in a group. So it's like, is it fried baked? I, it's I'm it's confused. it's um it's cooked. cooked. It's just like um it can be fried. Do you but use it's your not, hands? Um yeah, you use your hands, and then uh -huh. it's like a group of people. And sometimes like I go with my friends. I guess it, for me it's also like memories too, because I go with my Ethiopian friends, and it'd be like ten of us, and we're all sitting around this you know, table and. We're all having injera and we're eating from the same bowl, we're eating from the same plate, and it's like very. Is the bowl big enough? Yes, it's very. Can, can Charlie it's partake in that? <laughs> yes, all of us get to partake Bye -bye. in it. It is a flat, big bowl and a, a, a dish, and I just, I don't know, I just love it. I yeah, guess. That's, that's dope. Yeah, and it's really good, and it's very seasoned. They don't play any games with pepper. I think their food's actually spicier than even Nigerian food, FYI. For like, real? they don't play games with pepper, so I love it. You're about demons. <laughs> Pepe. 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 You will sweat at the back of your head. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to the number five on the list. Speaking about eating with your hands, mm -hmm. you really need your hands with this food right here. What That's going to be that? the number five on the list. Kenke and fried Fish. Oh my god, that's my mom's favorite. My mom eats that like every day. Is your mom gone? Really? No, no, she's okay. happy, but so, she loves it. So Kenke is popular in the western um, part of Africa, Ghana, I've never had it. Mm -hmm. and it's um, that's where from, I'm the from the Ghana tribe. Part. It's made from um, corn. Oh, is yeah. it corn or maize? Corn I, um, and maize, yeah, yeah, same thing. Corn. There are like a few different types of Kenke. Yes. You can have the Ghana Kenke, you, you can have, have the fancy Kenke. kenke. Uh -uh. Yeah. Sorry about to cut you short. Is it food Kenke or Kenke? Kenke. Kenke. Oh. Or is like the. So I don't really like the fancy kenke. I like the fancy kenke when you mash it. Wait, With the fancy kenke is the yellow one or the green one? Okay, so the fancy kenke is a trick. The fancy kenke is a, the kenke that is wrapped with so many leaves, mm -hmm. and by the time you you peel the leaves, oh, it's just a little that bit. That depends on who makes it. I had it, that actually. It's green. It's like in a yeah. dark green. And you keep on wrapping and wrapping and wrapping, wrapping. And, 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 and then there. by the time you realize you have that little kenke, no, 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 no. I go with the dark kenke because what you see is what you get when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, with, that just with, depends on who makes it. I like but the way you guys are talking no, about it. It makes me want to right now. It's so delicious. Let me tell you, 
If you're watching right now, just run to the store, buy the king cake, come home. What you're gonna do is you're gonna heat it up. Do All right, because it's already made. Hold on, yeah. let me finish my cake. I'm very passionate with this king cake. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just listen, just listen, just I listen. Like that. Heat it up. Don't microwave it. America, please stop microwaving the king cake. When you buy it, just put it in hot water, let it boil. Just let it boil. While it's boiling, fry your tilapia. S you know, season it, fry it, grind your pepper, <laughs> and it's gonna look just like this. I don't like onions, so I don't like chopped onions yeah. on mine. But you, you know, you're gonna have onion breath. I don't like that. You're gonna eat it just like this. Wow. And when you eat it just like this, you're not gonna move. <laughs> I totally agree with Charlie. This food is absolutely, absolutely delicious. If you're going to get it in New York, there's yeah. a place on 167 called Eddie's Place. They have, their kinky is fresh. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they do, but it's like they bring it like literally almost every single day. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have it in Ghana, mm -hmm. there's a place called Living Room. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I bow down to their kinky, their fish, the pepper. The pepper is good. So the pepper, the red pepper is just like onions, tomato. And yeah, onions, tomato, garlic, a little ginger, yeah, that's like it. And Maggie. Yes. And then the black sauce is the shito, which yes. is like our national like pepper yeah. sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm not a fan of the green sauce personally. It's not even spicy. So I don't you know, I don't know how to make it because I just don't like it. But I do like it with the onions. Shout out to my dad. My dad knows how to make the green pepper. Yeah. And where I get my cake from is Rosie's mother's um, African store. Legit, it's good. Where, I don't so that's where, where, where in New York can we find it? I feel like oh, it's in the Bronx Eddie. anywhere. Just <laughs> just shout yeah, Kenke. But, but, yeah. yeah. but you know what right. I like about Kenke? As much as Kenke and fish is good, Kenke is kind of like rice. Or like gari or plantain, because you can common. eat it with different ways. You can eat oh, it with a bank okay. You can eat it with kinky with a bank wine, which is a soup. You can, mm. you can eat it with stew. You know, I think I've had this on the side. Of, you know, like when the people run up to your car when you're driving and they give it to you, like in the corner. No, that's <laughs> not kinky. No, I think you're talking about kinky has to stay hot. No, it's hot when it's like they have. No, never that's not kinky. You were tricked. So All right, let's move on. I think <laughs> you're talking about something else. Let's so move on. So you can eat it with like stews. Like you can eat kinky with like a lot of different things. Okay, really like gari. Right. You can also like mash it up in a blender mm -hmm. and eat it with um, sugar and milk as well as and like milk. a breakfast. Yes. yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna move on. T Manny, what do you have for us for number this is six? It's a very very popular soup in Lagos, Nigeria, mm. and in Calabar. They call it afang, afang soup. You see, or you see right there. What? I'm turned off. No, 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 no. The name of the listen, food is listen, what? Listen, listen, listen. The one who said doctor, I mean, doctor. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I didn't say anything. I don't know whether it's doctor or medical doctor. I don't the know what the name of the, the food is. The name of the food is called Afang. 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 Or okay. Edika and Kong. All right, hey! I the first name. Bro, <laughs> if you taste that soup, mm -hmm. you will have an encounter. Is that spinach leaves? Spinach, Wait. vegetables, assorted meat, a little bit of pepper. That you know, looks good. It, it is looks good. good. You can eat it with... Um, Gary, number one. Of course. You can eat it with goes Gary again. <laughs> no, you can eat anything with Gary. <laughs> like, it's really? Not, it's not a game. If All right, rice, so go ahead. You can. Rice? If you that deep. Yeah, you can. You can put <laughs> like it on if top. it's that deep, yes. Rice and Gary. Yes. Yes, let's do it. All right, let's move, with, <laughs> move on with the Gary. Yes. All right. So, Afang soup, Um, what does it usually go with? You said it goes with Gary, mm -hmm. it goes with um, yam. You can eat it with yam, you can eat it with rice, white mm. rice. Actually, yeah, it's very nice. That's just all I have to say about is it. Is it spicy? Really really good. Or not really spicy. It's not, it's not it, spicy. It, it, that right there reminds me of contemporary, which is a spinach stew mm -hmm. that we have. Mm -hmm. And then it's also Did reminds you me of contemporary. Some contemporary. people also use um, contemporary in soup in Ghana, mm -hmm. and some people make contemporary soup, so it reminds me of that. And I love that right there in Ghana, we call it wile. That thing oh, on the, the left skin, side, the spin yeah. it's like the gold oh, the skin. skin. That is yeah. like my, like you I always, I always like the most unhealthiest part of the meat. Like I also love like chicken skin. I don't know why. So when you have but to be careful with the wille or the okpono you just mm -hmm. mentioned, why? because there are, it's different kinds. There's mm -hmm. the hard ones yeah. and then there's the soft ones. That's the reason why I don't like like most of the, like the most popular African restaurant in New York, like Papaya. I don't like them at all because their meat is always hard. Like the wille, it's always with but different But I feel like when you go to this African it's not well cooked. Like, no, it's, uh, the not that it's very not well cooked. cooked. It's, it's hard. You know, like when you go to Ghana and you're in Africa, mm. Nigeria and stuff, like the meat is well cooked. Cook. I don't know what they yeah. do here. And it's just hours super, the super the is, hard. When you cook at home, it's all, of course, it's always better. Mm. Always when better. I go to these different kind of African restaurants, I try to be nice. Because the lady <laughs> that's usually serving your food, it either likes you or don't. And when they don't like you, Dude. they're going to select the bones. I, they're going to give you the no. hard no. billet. No, you have to put you your eyes there. So I'm always. Yeah, but you know what? Well, well. Yeah. So but I'm always like, hello. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know what? 
sometimes even it's no matter how nice you are i think it just depends on whatever mood that they are in and this is about like even here in america What's like like i walk in papaya <laughs> and they are yeah. so rude like i'm I don't not even mentioning know, any names i don't even, i don't mention a name because i don't understand how they are still open like you go there mm. and they don't realize that like i'm catering to your business yeah. i can cook and I can go home and I can decide to cook. Sure. I can cook exactly what you're cooking. And when you go in there, the food is not amazing good. It's not like how the food is in Ghana. So you should even be happy I'm coming in there. You just That's why when you go in there, yeah. it's only single men and taxi drivers that you've seen there because they don't have no choice but to eat there. <laughs> right. You never go there All and right. see like a family. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> no, 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 let me finish. No, I know, but we're going to keep going, but let me finish what I'm saying because if we're talking about food and we're giving people advice on where to go to eat, we got to inform them. We got to let them uh -huh. know. So when you go there, depending on the mood that the person is in they might they might not you know what i mean they might not give you the best customer service but you, you know you really just gotta be nice about yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cause pepe, i am because i go there a lot and no matter because i go there a lot and no matter how much i go there why do you still go there because you don't why do you go there don't want to go there i get it i still go there be i the only reason and i might say that i i probably Cook. Yazi. Wait. Yazi, cook. I probably go cook. there. Yazi. I probably go there like five times out of the year. Yeah, yeah. And that there. is because like sometimes you're in a rush, whatever. Sometimes you're busy, you can't cook, and I just run in there. Is Most of the time house? I cook at is home. It close to your house? One of the locations. Mouth mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's answer. move on. So so your pick was Afan soup. We gotta move yes. on. Yes. Yazi, since you're so passionate about the food, let what is what do you have you, for you, us for number seven? But listen, you know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for you to open a restaurant that has good customer service because you cook great and you I love to cook great. and you need food so you need to open up an african restaurant that has not only good food but also good customer no, service I, for us i'm a good cook like when it comes to jollof and shout out to african prodigy she wants to compete with me she, i heard she, she's an amazing cook as well but you're but better I, 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 we I can cook. i'm not i don't know we can cook you're and better. we figure it out yeah, shout out to you we african to prodigy competition nigeria and ghana jollof why didn't you go for that competition here in because you i was go for the next because one. i was booked and busy yeah. 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 Yeah, you are booked and busy, too busy to prove us okay. wrong. Yo, we so let's talk about one. number seven. And number right. seven, you definitely don't want to get from Papa here. You want to get this from a home cook place, somebody at home for you to cook for you. Mm -hmm. It's Benku and Okro. Oh. And it is so, so good. I love Benku and oh, Okro. Okay. So oh. basically, Okro is Okro stew. And if it's cooked well, mm -hmm. it normally has, like, normally you do, like, um, Goat meat, crab, yeah. snail, willy, a little fish, shrimp. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's made with palm oil as well. Mm. I think Nigerians eat that as well, we right? Do. Yep. Right. Everybody eats like palm oil. No, no, no. 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 Okra. Everybody okra. Got okra. No. You gotta no, scoop it no. in. You gotta scoop it I in. Like I don't it. like this. No. Nobody likes okra. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like no. okra. I like Nobody. okra. It's and, slimy. And, 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 do, and do you know what, too? Do you know that in Ghana, there's a tribe called Ewe, and they're normally... My, my, my tribe. Oh, you're Ewe. <laughs> okay. Okay, I didn't know you that, guys but let You guys introduce yourself on every episode. <laughs> you are Ewe. No, I'm... So you still don't know. I'm a proud Ewe. No, you don't know. How did she not know you're Ewe? Because it's, it's so many different tries. The wine get into you. Yeah, okay? the wine is working, guys. Are you okay? The wine is working. Okay. <laughs> As you guys all know, I'm a normal proud alcoholic, so I can still hold my composure. Oh, you, you don't know, know. know he's Ewe. Ewe. You don't no, even know. Well, she I don't have to know, know that I'm Ewe. Ewe. I mean, feel like you introduce yourself in every episode. But exactly. he says he's Ghanaian. Yeah, he doesn't say that he's Ewe. Okay, sorry. You know what I mean? Okay. So tell us about this. But story. anyway, back to my Banku and Okro. The Ewe people are very beautiful. They have very nice, beautiful, glowy skin. They live long. And a lot of people say it's due to them eating a lot of Okro because it's popular in their tribe. Well, you don't like it. Though. But the end and that's because okra is probably one of the most healthiest things you could eat. It's and we it call is, it... Forget it being delicious. It is, it's good for your brain. It's good for your body. It's good for your skin. And we like call it okra. Fetrito to. What okay, is I don't think the Ewe language, Fetri so Toto. I wouldn't know. Jesus, please don't say that word again. I'm not Ewe. I'm Fanti. But I love this. I cook this. I literally make okra stew literally like every week. And it's actually one of the dishes that I'm really good at cooking. So I hate cooking, but I'm really good at cooking okra. So I don't mind All right, single it. men out there. Y'all here? She hates cooking, though. <laughs> no, she so she likes cooking the banku and okra. Because so I, can, I make it like really, really good. Her. What I don't do, though, is that I don't make the banku. And that's because banku is basically cornmeal. You mix it with water, mm -hmm. and you mix it very, very well to make sure that there are no, like, lumps or anything in it. You mm -hmm. put it on the stove, then you slowly, slowly cook it and turn it into a ball. However, I don't, I, 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 however, you got to <laughs> be like, 
I could tell she doesn't. She doesn't make bank home. <laughs> because her arms are not you strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nah, she's a beautiful girl. I ain't got girl. no time for that. It's kind of like pound of yam that we make. You have to pound it, like in a mm. wooden bowl. Like it is not. Those women it's are not, not playing any games. It's not easy. I have no time for that. So what I do is I make the okra stew. Then I go to like the African and market you buy the and bank, I buy right? the banku and then really? I eat it. Wow. But but you see, you can also eat okra stew. Well, I eat okra stew with rice. I and also eat it with gari. I also eat it with kenke. Ken -ken. So, so you know, different. it's different ways to to. Uh, eat I, what am I hear, hearing about bunny chow? What is it? Are we, are we going are we to China? China? <laughs> Check so, on down. For right. number eight, I chose bunny chow. Well, I wanted to kind of diversify from all this West Africa stuff, but this is from South Africa, mm. and oh. essentially, it's like street food. First of all, when I go to Nigeria Ooh. or other parts of Africa, I love getting street food. Mm. Street food, you know, they're like, always the best. That is delicious. By I the stay nasty away butter, from, I by the unclean. Yeah, it's no, always I the best. stay away from it because I am not trying to get sick while I'm in. Africa. And who no, said you can't get sick from the restaurant? Sick. Thank Please. you. Who said you I can't got get sick from the restaurant? All right, Bunny Chow. So Bunny Chow is essentially they they. First of all, I love like African bread. It's so soft, it's delicious. It's made. It's it like really amazing. Shout out to Iggy Bread of Lagos so States. Exactly. Uh, so they remove the center of the bread and they put like curry or beef or whatever. And this is like let me tell you. <laughs> so this you is like bread with stew in it? Yes! But it's delicious. Like, this looks so it's good. It's seasoned so well. Curry. You put vegetables in it. You, you eat like it curry. In, I do like curry. I don't. Oh my me gosh. Neither. That's why. Because no. if it's not cooked well, yes, that make me on a whole nother planet. Look. I haven't had any for food that was not cooked well. This is delicious. And it warms you up. You feel happy. You're like, look. I got it. Well, it's not that expensive either. So it's like, okay, I, you feel full for the whole day and like give you so a it's big. It's good. It's good. And it's cheap. It's cheap. Yeah. And you that's all I need to know. Oh, yeah. Right. So let's move road. on. And you get on the side of the road. Let's okay. move on to a more classier food. It's not classy. Uh, that's true. <laughs> classier food. Number nine on the list is fried yam and chofi. Oh God, and pepe. Let me tell you about fried yams and chofi. So first of all, chofi. I don't like fried yam. Okay. I do. Let me tell you, chofi is turkey butt. Is it turkey butt? It's or, turkey or tail. Is it pig? No, 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 no. It's not preco. I not always pig. thought chofi was it's pig. It's not pig. Uh -uh. Okay. I don't do the pig. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, the, the, the tail part of the turkey. You, you okay. know, you season it however you want to season it, whether you like it spicy or not. Mm -hmm. And then you fry it with fried yams. Mm -hmm. When the, the yam, too, you have to make sure you find the correct yam. Maybe you didn't yeah. have the right yam. No, I Because there are different types yam. of... There are different types of you yam. Know? You get I don't like that. Yeah, yam. there's puna. Wow. There's puna. There's, puna. there's, yeah, there's there other is. ones so that sometimes is not good. Some so yams are not good. Some yams are bitter and some yams mm. don't taste yeah. good. So you have some to yams go right bad one. quick. Yam is really good. You can fry it. You can, can boil, boil it. it. You I can love roast yams. it. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So you can cut it how um, in however shape that you mm -hmm. want. Mm -hmm. And when I make it, I don't put salt in it before I fry it. I fry it, then add the salt. Sprinkle really? it just like, you know, you fry. It's like salt bay. Yeah, so thank you. Oh. Yeah, you know, you're welcome for that tip. You know, you, you put it, you uh, and then the salt will melt into it. Okay. You eat it with um, trophy. You can eat it with fried fish, fried shrimp. Mm -hmm. OMG. And when you're buying it, people that are traveling to Ghana this holidays, mm -hmm. make sure you buy it from the roadside. Don't try to go to these fancy yeah. restaurants. Mm. Buy it from the, you know, roadside. So wait, this is classier than Bunny this Chow? Is cla yes. <laughs> <laughs> because because, because, you, you, street because street. you take it like this, you can take it with your pinky out. <laughs> Charlie, you know fried yam is not <laughs> To be honest with you, this is normal. I'll be very honest. I normally... I like how trophy tastes. It tastes delicious. But I normally hear a lot of things that it's not healthy for you. Yeah. It's not. Oh, oh, thank you for mentioning that. Oh, it's Ghana not? banned trophy. It did? Yes, Why? it banned trophy in Accra. So <sighs> you I went just, to Ghana. You just stopped me exactly. Well, from no, no, because, right I, I'm, because I'm, very, I'm very passionate about this. When I went to Ghana this past um, December, I couldn't find trophy. Do you hear me? I couldn't find trophy. In the whole of Ghana. In the whole of Accra. I couldn't find oh, trophy. Okay. And every time I go, I'm like, um, I want trophy. They're like, oh, you didn't hear? The government's banned it all. Yeah, I hear it, it's, I hear it causes it's a lot very, of like, very bad. Yeah. Really? So I normally don't I projects? normally don't eat trophy, but I do love fried yam and I will have it with like grilled chicken. Yes, grilled fish. And I will have it with like the red pepper or the black pepper because I'm not a fan of the green pepper. Mm -hmm. And what I love to have fried yam with is grilled fish. Yes. Like it's really it's good with like grilled fish. And that's gonna get us into our last on the list, which is grilled fish that I absolutely love. Mm. However, I love the grilled fish from 
I think this is a Guinea and Senegalese dish because Nigeria makes grilled fish, Ghana makes grilled fish, Nigeria, but we all make know. it different. Mm. Well, but the whoa, best wait. one, Hold on. Africa doesn't, this is not African. This is not a grilled fish, African grilled fish. <laughs> no, this, this is what you brought? No, this is not, it's oh, like a whole, whole thing. No, I don't know what we're talking about here. No, so number 10 on the list is grilled fish. It's grilled this fish. This is not the grilled fish this that This is I was not expecting. the grilled fish, no. <laughs> I want the head. Where's yes, the head? Can I? Where, where's the eyes? Charlie, where are the wings? Charlie, oh no, Charlie, fish doesn't have wings. Guys, let me say I'm, I'm, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. <laughs> Guys, let me talk to Charlie in my language. Maybe you understand better. Oh, they're Toba. And yes, she is. say we are wrong picture. No, they are Toba. But we mean say fish. No, and you're the whole fish. And you're fish. No, with fish, ni tea. And a fish, no, ni chi, ni tail. No, because what we mean say, we're coming. And you're ready. 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 The grilled fish is normally like a grilled tilapia, and it's normally the whole entire fish, yep. from the head to the tail, very, very well seasoned. Again, I love it from Guinea and Senegal. Normally, I buy it at a restaurant on 116th Street here in New York. Ah, you go to restaurants. Because oh, they, they, is it, is they it seasoned kind? it. I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of it, but I know it's somewhere well, it's over African there. Restaurant. It's a full-blown French African restaurant. They season it very Ooh, well. I hear that's I think they the use, prostitute um, hangout. I think they use like mustard Mobile. and onions, pepper, garlic, and a lot of Maggi you to season to. it. Yeah. And it's like so, so yeah, good. Oh my God. When I go, I, oh, it's funny because we eat at Cheke in Ghana. And I don't eat a check in Ghana, but in like when I go to like my friend, because I have a lot of friends from Guinea and Senegal, when I go to their house, I eat their a check in with this fish. And it's deliciously good, or sometimes like Honestly, fried plantain. Honestly, Senegalese food is bomb. Let's be honest. That's what I'm saying. That I, I, I really bomb. think they have the best food out of West Africa. My Ghanaians will get mad at fighting me. About it's Senegalese. Yeah. But they do make the best jollof rice, they, It's theirs. They do. They started it. Yeah, in. yeah. It's really good. I mean, Senegalese food is, like, really, really good. Charlie so doesn't look happy. I <laughs> love... Charlie wants to slap you like Hollywood. No, I just want to see the real thing. <laughs> okay, but listen. <laughs> but listen. <laughs> I am a proud Ghanaian. A proud Ghanaian. I was born in Sekindi, Takrati. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm very, very proud of being Ghanaian. I'm, I'm great Intro. that my my ancestors came from Syria, that, wow. Lebanon, to Ghana. <laughs> however, however, <laughs> however, we all know as much as I'm a proud Ghanaian, Senegal has the best food in West Africa. So on that note, I want to know what our viewers are having this holiday season. This December, this new year, what's on your plate? What is your family's favorite dish? What is that one food mm -hmm. that you guys always have every holiday? Let us know in the comments. The comments Let us around. know on Instagram. DM me. I will DM you back. And <laughs> happy holidays, guys. Yeah. And from us, we want to wish you guys happy holidays. Happy eat, holidays. Eat, eat, and eat. Cheers, okay? guys. Yeah. Okay. By the way, Cheers. we had an amazing year yeah. with you guys. Thank mm. you guys so much, right? Mm. Cheers. I want, I want the cheer. Wine. Charlie, oh, oh my God. <laughs> They're right. drunk. I'm a normal alcoholic, so you I can drunk. handle my liquor. These, the rest of them. No, I'm really drunk. I know not to go to the club with these people and go out with them, because right. you guys can't handle this alcohol. We love you for watching. <laughs> You're watching APS. This is Mina TV. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.